Maria Amato with us here on the John Mandola Show. We're talking Wyoming area Warriors, Lady Warriors basketball. Maria, let's talk about your role on the team, your captain. Uh, what does Coach Lajeski expect out of you? Um, expectations are kind of just like leading everyone, getting everyone together on the same page throughout everything, um, making sure that no one, everyone knows where they're supposed to be at all times. <laughs> How about your skill set out on the court? What do you think you bring as a player on the court? Um, most of the time I play center. I don't really see much of the outside, but other than that, um, I'm a pretty good defender, looking to score like easy buckets, everything in the paint. There's a lot of unknowns this year because there just hasn't been a whole lot of practice time and every team is gonna kind of have a little different feel to it what is something you think okay for us at wyoming area you know we're really good friends or we played a bunch of basketball you know last year we tried to get together over the summer of course COVID's just been been such a uh, a disaster for all of us but what what do you think you like about your team that could be a positive this year we all have really good chemistry like even though we're really close with like the underclassmen even though we're all seniors in this meet right now we're very close with underclassmen we all get along really well like i can't say that i'm not friends with anyone on the team and over the summer we all would like get together wake up really early in the morning and do workouts together well it's important to to have that camaraderie and, and have that positive mindset that's for sure how about for you in the classroom? Talk a little bit about it's been different for a lot of students uh, being virtual. Now some, you know, some school districts have been in the classroom. Some haven't got there at all. For you, what's school been like for 2020, 2021 so far? Um, we haven't seen a classroom at all this year, and it's really tough for me. I personally, I learn better with like hands-on, and currently I'm ranked third in my class, so like it's like nerve-wracking for me too. <laughs> see my grades slip a little bit through the virtual classroom. Yeah, I think uh, people lose sight of things like that. You're, you know, you're, you're feeling the pressure like, hey, I'm third. I want to at least stay third or, or try to go forward. And you're trying to hang on. But it is a different learning format. Um, talk about the, the stress level. You find yourself now staying up later at night or you, you know, you find yourself a little more organized at home because, you know, you know that the time's a little different. I feel like I'm a little less organized because um, my teachers aren't as strict about notes and things like that. So I feel like that stresses me out a little bit more because my things aren't together as well as they would be in a classroom setting. Well, I, I'm sure you're doing outstanding. Again, third in your class is something to be proud of. But let's talk about your future. What What do you hope to do going forward in 2021? What are your plans? Um, I want to go to college for either um, an animal science program or a biology program. I got accepted to both at different schools, but um, after that, I want to go to veterinarian school. And do you have a short list of schools of where you may want to go? Yeah, um, locally, my top choice is probably Scranton. I got um, University of Scranton. I got accepted there, um, but for if I want to go far away, um, I got accepted to the animal science program at the University of Delaware. Well, it sounds like uh, two good choices, and I'm sure there are a couple more knocking on the door, uh, which is awesome. Uh, how about your story as far as uh, the holidays? What What is something you're really looking forward to over the holidays to say, hey, this is what I want to do, or this is a, a meal or a dessert I'm looking forward to, or just some family time? Well, we always um, separate the 12 days of Christmas and each family member always gets a line from it. But this year, since we all can't be together, we're doing it um, virtually on Zoom. Right. Pretty cool, something different. And you guys are gonna adapt and, and do your best. Uh, Maria, it's great to hear your story. And obviously we're rooting for you and your lady warriors this year on the court. Thank you.